welcome back. This is Balascuba with the final bonus part of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. I'm joined, as always, by everybody. But today, I do have my ultimate party with me. I have decided and distributed most of the tabs. I'd like to say all of them, but I didn't distribute all of them. Uh, the power tabs, I still have, and I also still have three magic tabs. Because I have Luke in my party who does not need any. I have equipped it, I have equipped him with a gloom helm, gloom cape, and the gold stud. Gold stud's probably not the best option for him. Because uh well the fight I'm coming up to even though it's long, I'll probably be using mega elixirs for this fight. It is not an easy fight by any means. Uh I do have his speed up to fourteen, I give him one speed tab. Uh, the Gloom Helm or the Gloom Cape. I believe it was the Gloom Cape actually increased his speed up to 13. Novin, I do have in my party as well. I've given him the Prism Helm, the Moon Armor, primarily because of the defense that it gave him, not because of the magic defense boost. He's also on the Silver Stud. Hopefully that works out for me. The, the accessories, I believe, are the weak part of my build here. I did give him uh, all the magic tabs that I had, so now he has max magic as well. He also has 14 speed, thanks to a few speed tabs, and then I have Kyra with us as well. Uh, she does have a slightly lower speed at 13, I did give her the, the majority of the speed tabs. Uh, she, she already had max magic, so I didn't need to give her any of that. Uh, she's on the prism helm, prism dress, and the silver stud. Now, we are ready. <laughs> God, I hope we are ready. To take on the hardest fight in the game. I have not actually brought Luke in here before. God, freaking... It's a new. It's a freaking pink new. Why did it have to be a new? Freaking Specchio. Yes, he's commenting on Luke here. Yes. Yes, I am. Alright, hardest fight in the game by far, and you will see why. You will see why. He starts off the game, the fight, I guess you could say, by casting Flare. That's how he starts. Alright, we're gonna go for Dark Matter, and we're gonna go for Frog Flare. Go everything. Go everything. We get a thousand, just over a thousand. He's got a ton of magic defense. Even Frog Flare, Frog Flare does 2,400 damage. Ridiculous, ridiculous. And he instantly goes for Halation, which reduces everybody's HP to one. Now, normally that'd be great. Use Frog Squash. No, it misses. Don't use Frog Squash. Go for Heal. Which is why I brought Novin along. It was either him or Bloon. Because they're the only ones that can heal everybody at once. And I wanted to be able to do that. It does heal quite a bit here. Quite a bit. Not enough. <sighs> Not enough to counter everything that he has. But enough. So once again, just go for your highest level magic here. Go for Flare. Go for Dark Matter. If you guys brought Vash along with you, use Luminaire, obviously. Alright, Dark Matter. Then we need to heal again. Because if he goes for Luminaire, we could all die. That's how powerful and hard this fight is. Hopefully that heal does go off. It does. Hooray. Now, honestly, I could have gotten more speed tabs, gotten everybody's speed maxed here. That is something I could have done, but I didn't. Because I'm not that smart, apparently. Uh, he does have a ton of HP, as you might imagine. And we're not taking that much off at a time, to be honest with you. Go, Dark Matter, and we'll, yeah, he Halation, once again. Everybody's HP is down to one. He's pretty much immune to physical attacks and any physical magics that you might have. Uh, so I don't believe any of the uh, strategies that usually need you to be at one HP, be it Bloom with a Crisis Arm or uh, the Frog Squash, will work here. 
Don't be Luminaire. Don't be Luminaire. Thank God it is Flare. We will live that. That is acceptable. Alright, go for Flare. And then I need you to go for another Heal. And then you can go for another Dark Matter. And this is why I brought uh, the studs with everybody. That's why I equipped those. So that I wouldn't have to use Elixirs. Mega Elixirs too often. I have very few of those. I think I have... I know I have less than 10, but I believe that I only have 6 Mega Elixirs. Feel free to use them all in this fight. You're not going to find anybody tougher, not in this version of the game. I hear there is a version, uh, the, uh, what are you doing? Hellation again, damn you! The DS version, uh, brought an even tougher enemy into the game, uh, than this. Um, and that they actually gave Kyra? equipment that made this uh, this fight unlosable, which is complete bullshit. This is supposed to be the hardest fight in the game. I understand giving a second one, but then don't make it this one ridiculously easy or exploitable. You know what I mean? Maybe that's just me. Go Flair. Now once again, if he should decide to cast Luminaire while we're not pretty much at full HP, we're screwed. Luckily he went for Salt instead. Uh, Salt does heal one of your party members, so that was very nice of him to do. But I am going to get everybody else back to, to max HP, just in case he should decide to go for Luminaire. I have found that when he goes for Salt, he ends up going for Luminaire just afterwards, which is a bitch! Luckily, he's not casting anything just yet, and I'm getting a lot of damage done on him. Fortunately, it looks like Kyra's going to be running low on MP very soon, so I might have to bust out a Mega Elixir. There we go. Luminaire. How much damage does this do? Damn near 900 across the board. It is insane. So you want it? Yeah, that's why I'm keeping everybody at max HP at all times. Usually he follows Luminaire after Salt. So that's the only warning that you're going to get. As far as I can tell. I always have to follow up with that because I don't know everything about this fight, to be honest with you. I just can speak from my experience. But we are getting a lot of damage done on him, and I believe we are actually starting to get close. Halation again. Damn you, Halation. We could be getting very close to finishing him off here. Actually, go for go for the Mega Elixir. Once again, I highly suggest... Oh, I have five of them. I highly suggest wait mode instead of active mode for the fights for this. Otherwise, while you're looking for things like your Mega Elixir, he can kill you. And it's not necessarily something that makes the game harder, it just makes it cheaper. You know what I mean? Just because I didn't memorize my item list doesn't mean I should die. Oh, he goes for his own dark matter. This could be very bad. Or not. Or not. <laughs> uh, I hadn't seen him use dark matter in a while. It's about the same as uh, Flare, actually, so definitely Luminaire is your strongest magic attack here. At least when he uses it. Let's go for another heal. You can go for a Dark Matter. Uh, you can go for a Flare, just in case he should go for the, uh, the Luminaire again. I want to be able to survive that with everybody. I could use the... I believe it is the Shield. Or, no, it's the Barrier that will reduce... Eight, uh, all damage done by magic attacks by a third. And we've done it. <laughs> we've done it. This is not an easy fight. Uh, I probably made that look pretty easy. It's harder than that, trust me. That was most embarrassing. Don't make a habit of this here. This is for you. And we get the Specchio Cheerful set. We've got ten magical tabs, ten speed tabs, and ten power tabs. Pretty much only the speed tabs are something that I'm going to need at this point. And we get 10 Mega Elixirs! That is probably the best part of this whole fight. Received enough of Specchio's praise to last a year. I am the Master of War. Sometimes I scare myself. Damn your halations. 
I hate it. But with the final fight done, we need to celebrate by doing two things that I didn't do before. So I hope you guys do enjoy that, and then we will be done with Let's Play Chrono Trigger. And I'm back and ready to show off two things that I missed uh, going through this stuff last time, all the side quests and minigames and that kind of stuff. So, without further ado, let's go into Vash's house. I do have the clone and the Poyoza doll in there. What else could there be? There are kitties! The kitties are everywhere! Oh my gosh, how many kitties do we have? Uh, we have... Looks like six kitties down here. And five more kitties up here! Play my music. Yes, that's Vash's theme. Hooray for kitties! There are kitties everywhere! Meow! Meow! Pose for me! Pose! Kitties! <laughs> there are so many kitties! Go kitties! And with that, there is only one more thing that I wanted to show off. Besides the kitties. They're just so cute! And with that, we only have one more thing to show off. And this will be the last thing that we see in Crow Trigger. We're back at the North Cape to see Luke's clone in all its many poses. <sighs> Including the face palm. Let's hear his music as well. Ooh, the scary music again. And with that, that will bring a close. To Let's Play Chrono Trigger. I want to thank you guys uh, for watching. Thank you for all the support that you've given me throughout the course of this Let's Play. It did go on rather longer than I had anticipated, to be honest with you, but I do thank you for watching it. It does mean a lot. Uh, if you guys did like it, feel free to leave a like or a comment. Uh, if you guys want to see more from me, feel free to subscribe. I do update every day. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this Let's Play of Chrono Trigger. I've been Baller Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by Face Palmy Luke. God, Baller, what are you doing? Hope you guys have enjoyed this Let's Play. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time for Sword of Mana. Thanks for watching. <laughs>